will sign an NDA, non-disclosure agreement, which means we won't talk about it until it comes out, which could be months, could be years. Yeah, right. So What's your favorite one you did? Golly. Well, I, I like instant yeah. gratification games, so Street Fighter, because I'm in that, is Ryu. And I, I, I love that one. But a lot of the fans like uh, an RPG title called Fire Emblem. Woo! Oh! You woke up. And it's a fully awake. Yeah, randomize, you know, you pick your strategy and watch the battle play out, and then you pick your strategy. Oh, right. I know. Yeah, yeah. One of those. I'm not a thousand years old. <laughs> but, yeah. I, the only games I play ever are, I like all the Assassin's Creed. I like those ones where you gotta do something. Yeah. But then later you just like run around and be a maniac and just you know, like, hey, maybe I'll go kill a thousand bears. Well, I'll do that for a little while. Add more to that. And well, maybe I'll go kill that guy for a little bit. You might like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Grand Theft Auto. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. We're like, ah, I'm going to ride an elephant. I'm just ride an elephant off the cliff. That'll be fun. Just do it. Yeah. I'm not a violent person, but digitally I'm a homicidal maniac. <laughs> One eye. But I'm, kidding, but I'm not good at it because, like, like that sweet little girl running there is like will kick my buttocks every time. They, you know, they're like eight years old. I'm like, you get in the playroom or whatever, and I'll like sub a headshot, and Dad I'm like, what happened? It's like, oh well, Tyler is an expert at this. He puts 14 hours a day, and he's eight years old. Prodigy at uh, uh, what's the Call of Duty? Like the playroom. I don't like the playrooms. I want to play by myself. I don't need some. 11 year old kid coming in and kicking my ass because they're experts at it. I'm just an old dude. But you will learn very creative adjectives for body parts. Oh, 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 I don't care what they have. Uh, Lego, uh, you know, 12 Angry Men. Lego uh, Jason Bourne. <laughs> Lego Marvel Superhero. Yeah, Lego Shinder's List. Any one of those will be fun to play. Well, like, I gotta go back now that I get the jumpy guy and jump up to the watchtower and get the rest of this stuff. There's also Lego Rock Band. <laughs> Which one? Lego Rock Band. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't like the one. <laughs> Not a fan. Well, if you play the guitar, you'd be an expert in playing guitar as much as they play rock. But I guess some people play it, but you play the guitar, right? Watch this 2014. All right. Who are you talking to? Oh, I was just thinking about it. <laughs> well, because uh, there's a game, like you mentioned, like, you know, learn guitar. Uh, there's a game called uh, Rocksmith 2014. It's There is already a remastered version with, like, six new songs, and you plug in any real guitar into your console or computer, and, and you can learn, like... You know, it starts easy, but it gets harder as you get better. So by the end, it's just like Charlie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? like, something like that. Wow. Well, that question. Yeah, oh, that's for you. Oh, gosh. Grim Reaper. Tim Reaper. Which show did you enjoy more, Aqua Team or Chowder? Ooh. That's a good question. They're both sort of first shows for me in different ways. Aqua Team was, you know, but that one was in like, you know, the booth was like a closet. For Aqua Team, originally, in adult swim, it was an actual closet. That definitely not, it did not smell of farts, smell of fecal matter. Oh. Oh. I, I, the, the, the dream of being able to just smell farts in a booth would be oh. really, really wonderful. <laughs> But Chowder was great because I remember like the first time I went there was like R2 Network sit down and there's like another guy sitting next to me. I'm like, oh, I bet he's, I bet he's, I was scared about it because I got hired to do it, but I didn't audition, so I didn't know what they wanted. And I was like, I had no idea. Because it could be like, what if they want me to do something? I'm going to just be a great a jerk about it. I don't know what I'm doing, which I never do anyway. But I was like, oh, this guy sitting next to me, like, that's real familiar. Maybe he's in Chowder. And then, like, I, I get up to go, and he's, like, walking, walking behind him. And then he goes right into the booth. And, he isn't. It was the guy with the white shorts, an amazing voiceover guy, the guy who plays the original Mad Dog Murdoch in the 18, which was a television show before any of you were alive. The movie, it was a television show that the movie was about, with the Mohawk guy, named as Mr. Dick. But that was great, because that was, like, again, like, I would say, that was, like, the first time I did a show 
where everybody was in the room together. And then Carl, the guy who did it, like he hired me because he wanted me to improvise, which you know, normally you don't. We do a lot on Alpha Team, we improvise, which is fun, because we're essentially just trying to make each other laugh. But doing it on a show like Chowder is usually not the case. You usually don't do that because it goes, there's all these processes. It has to go through legal department, it goes through this thing and that thing, and you know, they're already like storyboarding things, and you say some other word, and then all of a sudden, like, wait a minute, everything grinds to a halt. They gotta restart. But that's fun because that was like the first one I got to do with everybody. And it was like legitimate, you know what I mean? Like, it was like Cartoon Network. Not the weird network that's on when Cartoon Network goes to sleep for three hours. And like some weird little creepy dude comes in and just throws a weird dirty video tape and he's time to come out. And he's in again last night. Uh, but like Lego is like do a Lego show, the Freemakers. Uh, I played John with the Hutt's brother. Flattering, I know. Uh, but like that's another one too that they they want me to improvise on. They always record me separate. Because they don't want to, I guess they don't want to throw people off or something. We had one thing, we had a group thing, and the guy was like, all right, baby, go ahead. But that one's, Lego, the Freemaker show is, is intense because the Disney people are there, and the Lego people are there, and the Star Wars people are there, and then the people who actually make the show. So there's like weird, like three different sets of executives all watching and hounding down. And there's also this guy whose job it is, he has this book that has everything that exists in the Star Wars universe. You know what I mean? You're like, all right, because you may be like, because they will be in problem. Like, oh, what, we need a planet. What's the planet? And the guy's like, no, look, I'll tell you what planet is in that Vegas system. It's a Tyrolean 6 or whatever. But they have me improvise in that show. And like, I the sound that they want me to, but they do. And then constantly the guy's like flipping out because I'll say like, hey, give me one of those space pendants. And a space pen, you can't come. You know, but, but then he has to add it to the book. If it's something they use, then you know, like, they, like if, if Rival the Hut suddenly, there was some weird dude standing next to him like, hey, Josh, how's it going? Like, well, now there's a guy named Josh from the Star Wars universe, and that guy has to put it in a book. And like, what, what episode it was in, what planet he lives on, like all this horribly complicated stuff or be, being a jackass. <laughs> Fine. They won't be a jackass. So, you want a jackass? I got it 100% for you. I get 110% jackass. And a third, like, three cheats. A three cheat clinic. That's how jackass you made. Oh. One for Dana? Um, how was it like working with the... Uh... Well, with the, with the whole Aqua Teen thing, um, there was a, the movie, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, called a movie film for theaters, Ultra and boss. the soundtrack album. Ultra boss. Okay, no boss. Uh, doing, <laughs> doing, the, doing the movie, and then uh, doing a few, um, uh, one song and uh, some and a hidden track on the soundtrack album, and doing the movie at the same time. What, what was that like? I mean, we did that movie, but, you know, we were there for like four hours, one day. And like, they, they didn't tell us what it was for. Yeah. Like, what's this? Oh, it's, a, it's just a thing we're working on. Movie? No, movie and movie theater. I think you should have said, imagine if they did that to you. You show up and suddenly it's a movie and a movie theater. Yeah. What? Yeah. Adults with license to do creative uh, robbing of not paying in unique ways. Yeah. <laughs> not now. Back in the day, they were a little more freewheeling. <laughs> Oh, 26 years old. No, 27. No, I'm 26. I said 26. <laughs> yeah. Can you say a joke? Yes. Uh, okay, you can say no. <laughs> hey, Kyle, you want an old joke? A burlesque joke? Or like, uh, you know, whatever. Whatever you Kim Kardashian walks into a thing. All right, hey, Kyle, <laughs> do you know the difference between toilet paper and a shower curtain? No. So you're the one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Got it. You got a joke? I can scream. Patrick may No. You have a joke? No. You, got, you must have one. Well, now you got that one. We gave you that one. How about some other joke? Um, not, not. 
Yes. Apples. Apples and oranges. How's this turn into a fight for me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me your knockoff joke. This knock, is knock. informative, by the way. Knock, knock. You who's there? You. You who? You who? You who? Yes. Who's you?
I also, I also sing in Japanese. Let's hear your Japanese sing. Well, I need to hear the song if I can listen. You speak Japanese? No, I just know, know the words you sometimes. Learn it yeah. You don't you know, you know what they're saying? Well, if I, if, I, if I hear the song over and over again, I, I memorize the words. Oh, I mean, you know what it means in Oh, no, 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 but it's, like, it's, 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 I murder children, <laughs> I kill children, I eat their face, and like some Japanese, they're like, oh my god, it's a horrible thing to sing about how I eat children. No, because uh, most of the songs I sing in Japan are from, from anime shows. Yeah, well, like, listen, I see some anime stuff, there's, yeah. it's not out of the question that somebody would be singing about eating children's faces to an anime. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's true, some of the plots just make you go... Yeah. <laughs> well, well, there is one song I like, the entrance to Dragon Ball Super. Don't stop, don't stop, where the one. Yeah, two, and it's a catchy tune. Dun, dun, dun. I want to know why in Japanese certain words they just say in English. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You know, just like Jada did in Return of the Jedi. Oh, they're all Jedi mind trick. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Bucky's word for Jedi mind trick. Chuba. Yeah. They don't have a word for mind, for trick, or Jedi. Yeah. But the huts have words for everything else. It says, Chura Jedi Knight. That's the turn of the Jedi. Or like hot dogs? They say hot dog or something like that? Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Yeah, I'm going to do the hot dog. Well, the game is wrapped. Oh, when the hot dog stole it. Ah, when the chili, mula, mula, mucha, diarrhea. Oh. Don't be the name. Don't. 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 That's what you're next. You're in the queue. <laughs> um, will you be here tomorrow so I can write some dope sounds tonight? And you know what? I wasn't going to be, but now that you said that, I'll make a point to be here tomorrow. Okay, oh. here you go. And are you going to tell the jokes, or are you just going to lob us sounds? <laughs> You're going to do it. Okay. How do you, uh, let's see, what's another one? Here's a hot one for you. Why did the lobster share with the crab? <laughs> 